As I was editing today's video, I saw that Quen Image Edit had been released, and in my quest to capitalize on the hype faster than other folks are capable of doing so, I do intend to now test this real quick. Now, let's just take a quick look at this, being that I have not really actually looked into this at all or played with it, but I have curated a very fine set of specific images with which we are going to use to test this, and unfortunately today we are just going to be relegated to using this on the web interface of some sort because the requirements to run this locally are likely rather high considering that there won't be any quants or really any comfy UI integrations available this soon after release. So with that, we can see that Quen Image Edit is an exciting editing version of Quen Image built upon a 20 billion parameter Quen Image model. It successfully extends the unique text rendering capabilities to image editing tasks. This does also have precise text editing, which I do have a very special task just designed to test that specific feature, which is very exciting. And of course, we have strong benchmark performance, etc. Now, with this, I do want to just show they have some really interesting things. And the one thing here that was kind of like, uh, just almost non-believable is this right here. Okay, it's a side view of a BMW M4, and we have the input image right here, and then obtain the front view. I mean, that is almost spot on to what the car would look like and it is very very interesting to see this get an accurate front end shot from that right here so perhaps that was more impressive to me than just like the generic images <laughs> such as this cow and like the people and things like that and we have novel view synthesis so basically when I did the video on the Quen image generation model in reading through the technical report there was a lot of reference things of this which seemed very exciting so having the ability to now actually play with this editing capability is extremely exciting and these examples, I guess I won't spend too much time going through them, being that the purpose of the video for today is to actually go ahead and test these things ourselves. So with that, I am just going to start out by dragging and dropping an image right here, giving it a text prompt, and then seeing what exactly happens. So unfortunately, the hugging face space didn't work in that it just kind of prompted me to give it money before I could actually go ahead and use it. So I've just navigated over to chat.quen.ai to use this. And we're going to start out by, of course, having this modify the picture of an Amex black card to hopefully reflect the name to be that of my own. And we'll go. <laughs> Go ahead and see what happens right here. Now I notice this does not seem to be something that can be selectable here by the actual specific model selector. So it seems like you can just select the image editing feature when you have any one of these selected and it should go ahead and actually function. This is truthfully the first time that I have actually tested this. So I'm not entirely sure how long this will take to go ahead and produce a result, but oh, okay, now we are getting some form of feedback. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. So, <laughs> I will say that's, that's better than I expected. And again, if you're not familiar with like what this credit card is, I think there's some ridiculously high monthly spend that you need to have in order to apply, uh, be um, considered to have one of these credit cards. So it's like a status indicator for vain pieces of crap. But <laughs> the ability here to actually go ahead and do that, I will say that did a better job than I had expected it to. I'm gonna have to maybe throw this around on some online dating profiles. But with that, let's just go ahead and <laughs> I'm just gonna keep making new chats. I do have to apologize for my behavior in this video. I do believe I may be somewhat sick. Um, I mean like physically, I feel physically sick. I probably should specify what I meant. All right, let's, tr <laughs> let's try another one of these. Let's just do it. Okay, so here's a... <laughs> the Meccano robot standing next to a car. So let's go ahead and see if it will change this robot into a person. Here's one. I'm just going to come up with these on the fly and they may be very, very eccentric. So I'm asking this to change the robot, <laughs> let me zoom in here, to an Oompa Loompa from Willy Wonka. Being that like it's kind of more of a realistic change to perhaps be made. All right. <laughs> Okay, not quite. All right, I have some critiques on this one. It did not do as good of a job. It it kind of took away the bull bar from the car. Um, all right, perhaps it doesn't have full understanding of what an Oompa Loompa is. But again, it, you know, this one definitely modified more of the image and made it more noticeable. So I suppose that's good um, for like not being scammed. 
but oh the edited image has been downscaled because the input was in too high of a resolution okay that is a little more <laughs> a little more understandable now all right i think we're just going to go ahead and continue doing this so what do we have here okay here's one so yeah so basically <laughs> we'll take that as an input And then you just select image edit and it works. So we're going to have this change the scene to a king on his large throne, holding two lion cubs instead of dogs. The background should be a castle wall. Uh, okay, that is just not necessarily very good. Something I'm noticing based on my sample size of three generations right here is that it seems like giving it a smaller initial image actually produces a better result. It seems like when it's getting downscaled, it's just really losing a lot of ability to pick up on finite details. This basically, this is more in line with just a straight up text to image prompt as opposed to image editing. I did have the edit setting turned on, but unfortunately that was not a good result. All right, let's go ahead. Let's try the meta head to head one. So. <laughs> This right here is just a base image, and I had the meta AI change the outfit of the man, which is me, to a suit, so something like this that is just fancier, and you can see the meta AI watermark is right there, but it really did do a fine job in actually changing the outfit quite impressively, and that was done in like April, so I'm going to have this do the same exact thing, and then we'll see what happens. And that is just a screenshot of an image, so hopefully it doesn't get downscaled too much. And I'm giving it the same exact prompt that I gave to have the previously generated image we saw with the meta tag on it, which is just to change the man's outfit to a pinstripe suit. That did a really good, I suppose I should click on it first. Oh, it is pinstripe. Okay, it's a different color. That did a really nice job. I have to say, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison right here. So let's go ahead and open this one. Yes, image viewer should be sufficient. Thank you. And then we will take a look at the side by side. So the meta one is obviously a bit more pixelated just because it's kind of cropped from a crappy Facebook messenger photo. But if we are to look at these side by side, the Quen image edit did a better job because it actually retained the foot. I have to say, I didn't realize this till now, but in the meta image right here, the foot seems to just disappear into the floor. In addition to that, there was some uh, obscure artifacting right here by the bottom of the hand, but that does not happen right here. Even just the way that the suit is like draped over this, that's actually... This is almost quite believable, I would say. Look at the way the shirt, the folds in the fabric are always something to pick up on when you're like judging AI images and things like that because they kind of denote some level of realism. This is really actually, it does quite very much excel in this. All right, here's what I want to do. I want to see if I can double prompt it here now. So can we edit this? Oh, yes, we can. All right. <laughs> So now we are just going to try to get it to edit the image that it already had edited once more, asking it to change this to look like the style of a social media finance influencer with a text overlay that reads hustle, hustle more, hustle till you make it, and then has a social tag at the bottom reading at Bijan Poen. <laughs> Obviously this is to poke fun at like the gurus and folks who try to get you to sign up for their courses to make the money they make, even though they make the money from selling you the course. But it is kind of the style that folks use to advertise themselves as repulsive as it is. All right. This is when it gets... <laughs> oh, all right. So I'm noticing some text uh, issues that I noticed with the Quen edit thing. But it did do a good job here. It's kind of <laughs> hustle, hustle more. Till you make it. Overall, this was quite good. And it does seem to be very good at outfit swapping. It does make me wonder if it could... Um, Okay, let's, all right, so here's one of me shaking the hand with the Meccano robot, of course, obviously a famous image from my Wikipedia page, and I am just going to go ahead and ask it here to change the um, large man in the photo to an attractive female. Now, obviously, this is a weird test, but, I mean, this is right in line with what folks are going to be interested in seeing the capabilities of these models as, so it is fitting. Um, though, you know, 
It's for science. <laughs> so far, I haven't seen any refusals. Um, <laughs> I figured out of everything I tried, maybe the changing the name of the credit card would have been the one that triggered a refusal. But seeing that it didn't, I would guess this will probably be all right as well. <laughs> Good. Oh no, oh my god, I'm going to regret this, I'm going to regret posting this, alright, so, <laughs> alright, let's just, <laughs> okay, let's, let's, um, let's scientifically analyze this generation, this did a really good job with this swap, I mean, there are, of course, like, you may look at this and be like, uh, some aspects of this individual's face do look AI-generated, but the actual, like, replacement of the person in the photo, I'm not seeing anything really, like, that's immediately telltale, like, oh, th this is off, this is off. That is... I have no words for this result. That is, it's a great result. It's just, um, so here we're going to be testing its ability to keep memory of the previous images that were entered into the conversation. Um, at first glance, this may seem silly, but this is actually a legitimate test to test its like, uh, <laughs> memory of the conversation history, including the ability to keep coherence throughout multiple image generations. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, well. I did put it, put the couch in. Um, all right. Well, it definitely did not retain the original man, which was me in the photo. But again, I mean, look at the poster in the back of the original photo. It did a really good job not cutting off more text than it needed to. It's, um, so we have this scene. The robot is still there, which is good. Its hand seems to be kind of cut off, but that's okay. It was still rather well kept here. And I should note that the amount of fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Um, okay, so I guess that's the thumb. Maybe this thumb is somewhat deformed. All right, so here's an older photo, obviously, of myself holding a remote control car, staring at it in an enamored fashion. Um, so we're going to ask it to... Let me go back and take a look at what some of these sample prompts were asking in terms of seeing a different. So from these images, at least the sample prompts right here, I'm not really seeing any specific best prompt to be used, but I'm just going to do obtain the left side. I'm going to write it word for word as it says there in the sample and we'll see what happens. All right, that's really it just seems like it almost made the original crappier. I don't really see much like modification of the space of the image. But again, this is probably quite a different sample than it would have been trained on to perform these tasks with. So if you gave it like a static photo of a car like that or something, it would definitely probably do a better job. I think for the final thing, I was really quite disappointed with the result we tried with this photo. So I think I may just try an outfit swap with this as it seems to very much excel at being able to do those outfit swaps. So. I just need to think of like a... Alright, let's see what we got. Interesting. So, <laughs> just basically seemed to put like a bunch of UI screenshots here. But this is a jumpsuit. And again, the... Obviously, you've seen the duration of which I've tested this. But this is doing a really nice job in just only modifying clothing. It doesn't cut any other pieces of these images out. This did do a jumpsuit. The actual like folds and things in the fabric that would be there if were this a real photo do seem to exist here as well. I will say just obviously based off this really short snippet of testing, 
I'm most impressed with the capability of this to outfit swap on folks, and that is something that this seems to far, far outperform the meta image generation thing or editing that you see in Facebook Messenger or something like that. So I'm really qu quite impressed with that. Truthfully, I do believe I'm getting um, under the weather, so I think I'm probably going to wrap this up. As I said, this did just come out quite recently, a couple of hours ago, and I did want to just go ahead and actually get a video out to cash in on the hype, of course. Um, something I do find, <laughs> just this, this specific <laughs> um, sample right here, remove the strand of hair from the plate. You know, you could probably take a photo of your food at a restaurant and then do the reverse of this and perhaps, you know, you may be ending up with some free food. But with that, this model does seem incredibly potent, I will say just on first glance, and I am quite interested to see what folks end up using this model for and doing with it. I think that this being open source and undoubtedly it will end up becoming quantized and things like that so folks can run it on a wide variety of hardware. I do believe a lot of quite entertaining and funny things may come of this, as well as like if you want to do clothing swaps and stuff, you could probably make some SaaS startup like slop with a uh, virtual outfit try on thing. So, with that, that is going to conclude the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to subscribe and leave them in the comments. All right, thanks for watching.